Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we are going to talk about an urban legend from Germany, also called Deutschland in the German language. Now, you are probably wondering, what urban legend from Germany are we going to talk about today? And as for those that looked at the title of this video, yes, this is the creature that became an urban legend that is known as the original Slenderman. Well, more like how the whole Slenderman story really started before creepy pastas were even a thing online. If you are wondering for those who don't speak German at all, let me tell you then. First, that B looking letter is actually called an S set, like how the two dots on top of the letter U is called umlaut. Second, despite the B looking letter on the title of this video, in German it's actually a shortcut for two S's actually being Grossmann instead of Grobmann. Okay, grub men just sounds like a really gross sexual act on someone. Sorry for that image. This creature is pronounced Dear Grossman, which means the big man, the tall man, or even the giant man. That's all what that's all it just really means. Nothing too complicated. This urban legend is kind of complicated too. Some say it started around the 16th to the 18th century, some say even way before that. But all we know is that it is at least an urban legend around the medieval time period, mainly in Germany, that started it. This creature is said to live in the Black Forest, which is on the southwest state in Germany called Baden-Württemberg. I hope I am pronouncing that right. It has been so long since I've sp spoken the German language. I have not spoken German in so many years, so I do apologize for that. Anyways, Dear Grossman's victims are usually children, again, the original Slender Man. Parents would warn their children not to go into the woods late at night or stay up too late. If they didn't listen to their parents about Dear Grossman, then this creature would take them, pretty much. So, how does he do that? Well, he will chase the children until they are caught then he will take him to a fate unknown, again, Slender Man. The chase will usually be stopped by the child returning home and confessing to the parents that they have disobeyed their warnings and gone to the Black Forest. However, some stories about Dear Glossman vary. Some stories tell that the Dear Glossman lures children into his forest by hunting them, whispering voices in their head to come follow him. Those that do, again, get taken away to a fate unknown. A few other stories state that Dear Grossman would tap at the window for a child that stays up too late and he would take them again, Slender Man. Just saying, this urban legend is literally the online author's inspiration for Slender Man as we know today, which... I'm not surprised. I mean, usually a lot of these creepy pastas that you hear can go back all the way from stories before the internet were even a thing. So, the appearance of Dear Glossman is very similar to Slender Man. No, he doesn't have a nice looking tuxedo suit like you would imagine. Kind of funny, actually, the more I think about it. Yes, he is an extremely tall creature that most humans wouldn't reach. It said that he's also really thin and that he has multiple upper limbs. That way he could hide behind trees of the Black Forest, pretty much camouflaging to look like the trees during the night and maybe even the daytime. It's said that he uses his upper limbs to capture and take his victims away, again, mostly children. And some say he has no face, but even others say he has some facial features. On the other hand, it is described in many ways, whether he has pearl-orbed eyes and no face at all. Others describe him to have a uh, faceless feature on but left with only a gruesome large smile. I wanted to 
honestly record something fun other than drama that's been going on online. So I thought this was be I thought this would be a pretty fun way to talk about this. And plus part of my culture, my family, I wanted to just state this. I've never really said this online, but I actually have a grandmother that originally is from Germany, so anytime I do talk to her, instead of saying, hi, grandma or granny, I usually say, hi, Omi, so that's pretty much, and not only that, I used to actually speak German um, plenty of times when I was with my great-grandmother, but that pretty much has lost since she passed away back in 2015. I still wanted to talk about this regardless, and so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you, this was kind of fun for you to listen and learn about. I mean, I know this was, I didn't even know that this was an urban legend that was even in my grandmother's home country. Mainly it's because this didn't really happen in West Germany so much, more in East Germany, as far as we know, considering that the Black Force is mostly well known in conspiracies in the East side of Germany. So that's all I really gotta say. Thank you all for watching. If you like my content, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm honestly thinking about doing my creepypasta story time series again. I only have one video about that that was from last year. I'm thinking about doing that again. If you want to go see that, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I will also leave the link down in the description for the sources of the Dear Grossman uh, urban legend as well, too. You guys can go check that out. If you also want to support me on Patreon, you can. I have a Patreon down below as well. Anyways, I've said enough. Thank you all for watching. Peace.